Hey everyone, this is Mike from UltimateBlackBellGuitar.com and Pitch Fever Music Academy. We're here to reveal top guitar secrets today for you. And uh, people often wonder how I got my left hand to be able to play um, so accurately and fast and all that stuff. And I really hit a peak, you know, after about seven years of playing where I felt like I was on fire. And then over time, speed became less important. I started really working on theory and being musical when I played. And I remember what I was doing back then at the time. And I like to compare it to playing like a robot. So I taught my left hand to play robotically at first, just so I can go back later and add the human element to it by being less rigid. What I mean by that is I'll just take a simple scale, um, like the pentatonic scale, for example, and I'll just go across the strings and I'm going to do it with pull, uh, hammer-ons and then pull-offs backwards. So if I were to ascend, here's what it would sound like. And if you don't know the pentatonic scale, it's basically just going to be 5th fret to 8th fret on the 6th string, and then the next three strings it's 5th fret to 7th fret, so 5th fret 7th, 5th fret 7th, and then the last two we go 5th fret to 8th, 5th fret to 8th, that's going to be our shape, that's the A minor pentatonic scale. So I just kind of did it regular right there. Now I'm going to show you how I would have practiced it um, and how I do like to practice it to really get sharp at it. Do the robot trick. Check it out. You play it, the robot's just going to snap it into place just like that. So really fast movements. Just like that. Pull-offs are really important. You pull off with snap like a robot. If you do it without stopping, you get this. Doesn't sound pretty, but it's really working the left hand. And then over time, you start speeding up. You can't do it robotically if you speed it up because it's just not going to snap like it is. But it's still going to be a lot stronger than if you never did the robot technique. Okay, now we're going to slowly speed up, and you're going to see the robotic sound start to go away, but it's still going to sound strong. So I could do little groupings really, really fast. Watch this. All because I took the time to do the real snappy technique. What I, why I think this works is because it sends a really strong signal to your brain of what it needs to do. And then no matter how fast you do it, it will still have that clarity. Same with pull-offs. And that's how I was able to play fast with some clarity. All right, that's the secret.